It's 5.41 in the morning and I'm on my way to meet my nephew Anthony and he's going to take my brother and I on a spoonbill fishing trip this morning. We only have a short time because of Anthony's schedule, so we're only going to try to catch a couple of fish. But mainly I want to see his new electronics and get some eagle's nest pictures. Anthony called me a couple of days ago to tell me that he had the time available to go and told me I needed to find one other person to go with us to help with the fishing and so forth. So I called my brother and we're here and ready to go. Anthony said it was going to be a few miles down the lake to the point where he wanted to fish. Yeah. Those look like spoonbill, don't they? Those are not spoonbill, those are carp. You can see them here? Uh huh. You can tell a different species by the color. The color, and, and then the. I mean, they look like spoonbill, but you don't see no bill on them. They're like little footballs, and we're going too, pretty fast because of current. I'm actually going too fast, but when I slow down and come back uh, against the current, You'll be able to see these. They look like little footballs. And they're carp, hmm. but on that, you know, just a guy riding around on just sonar, they look like beautiful spoonbill. Hmm. And you'll see when we get in spoonbill down here how these are how red these are. Mm -hmm. When we get in these spoonbill down here, there'll be there'll be some some real yellow to them. You got your dog. Uh, I took him home there to that. His girlfriend's in heat, and he is about wore me out. I'm just gonna run two rods because I gotta. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn. How far are you going out, Anthony? Right I'm on, I'll have to turn and I get down here and turn. The fish are there, we'll catch them on the
it might work. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't. Uh, you told me that once before, and I forgot it. I'll not just build like we posted to and throw the live on. Well, if I was just going to limit you guys out, I'd be done about another 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm done before you caught this one. <laughs> it's, nice. it's fun to watch it. It's fun to watch the, what's that old line go out and that old drag going. Yeah, it's just a game for me to drive around catching. I know what I'm going to catch when I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the squirrel nest. Is that squirrel nest over there? Oh, no, those are blue heron. <coughs> Anthony? Those are blue heron nests. Yeah. Uh, is the eagle nest, uh, have you seen them on it? Yes. I, I want to get a picture of that before I go. Uh, the nest. There's one, right, there's one right up here. There's one right is that here. the one I'm thinking about? The one you're thinking of is probably at Cold Camp. Yeah. It's about 10 miles down there. There's one right here though. If, if it's not good enough, we'll run down there. You want me on that side over there? Which side? That's a big fish. Yeah. Let me turn the boat a little bit. You got him right in the back. 
Roger, he ain't hooked sideways. Hey, he's just coming in backwards. That's a big fish. I'm gonna turn the boat here a little bit. Okay, I'll just hold him there. He's not very big. Big fish. He's, he's, very big. he's tangled up. <laughs> coming in backwards. That's a female. While the guys are re-rigging that rod, I took an opportunity to get some pictures of these blue heron nests. We caught these first two fish so fast that Anthony decided we had time to try for one more. Then he added one more rod, so we're trolling with three rods now instead of the two we were using before. see the limbs on it and everything can't you? I can show you the hummingbird side imaging takes a little more dialing in to get a you got jack with this one every morning whether you go to contrast hmm. compare them this is a hummingbird you can see the brush here versus Omega. Well, I like that lighter one. Don't you? 
it, you know, like today, this current, the difference between Lawrence and Hummingbird, we're in heavy current today, and look how crystal clear this is. This Hummingbird and heavy current really don't give you very good detail compared in, hmm. in clear water. This is way better, but in current, like we have today, mm -hmm. they don't show you. And like, and more so when you're looking for big fish, spoonbill don't count, like for big catfish. And it's heavy current, this thing's almost useless. But in this on this Lorance, then fish will really stand out. Like right here, see this fish? Mm -hmm. And you look over here, you can you can't really see it. Yeah, you don't even see that yeah, fish on that screen. And then like in here. But you can see it over on this one real plain. Yeah, and you can you got a jack with this hummingbird, just contrast and sensitivity. There we go. See so we turned it up. Yeah, you yeah. You know, but and this now, one, you, now you can see it. Yeah. yeah. So and you, you can really see the contour out here. on the down image, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I changed them around. But there's some color on those fish. Is that what you're talking about? I want to go that purple color on Yeah, them. well, that's on your sonar. You'll see it, but... Uh, you can you know, really dial these in. A lot of times you can see the bill. I took a lot of pictures this year on mine. And I see here, this is a good spoon. We'll see the yellow. If that's what you mean by the yeah, yellow color yeah. on the spoon bill. Yeah, you'll see more. That's more of a female right there. That's, now that's you can see the color doesn't show up on the down image like it does on the sonar, does it? No, it's just. Huh. Be one right here around the bend, right here at this island.
fishing's done and we're going to see if we can get some eagle pictures now before we head back to the dock. Dang, I can't get him. This video was so shaky I couldn't use it. So what I did was took a snapshot out of the video. And there you can see an eagle on the left and down below him and on the right you can see the eagle's nest. Here I had Anthony back the boat up enough that I could get both eagles in. You can barely see the eagle's nest in the lower left hand corner of the picture. Now we're headed up to the second eagle's nest that we passed on the way down. The second nest should be right over there and I think I can detect through the lenses some eagles flying in the air. Well you can see the nest there. I had to convert it to a photograph again with the boat traffic and the wind and all it's just impossible to use a video camera and get a decent picture but you can see the nest there in this photo well what a nice trip this was it didn't take anthony very long to put us on some fish we fished a little over two hours and caught three spoonbill catfish in the 50 pound range. I got to take some great pictures of some eagle nests and I just had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video half as much as I did. Thanks for coming along.